Being able to tweak and play back an After Effects composition in your Premiere sequence is arguably the biggest game changer when it comes to editing with visual effects. Here's everything you need to know about dynamically linking between Premiere and After Effects. Select any clip or group of clips in the sequence and right click or go to File, Adobe Dynamic Link and then select Replace with After Effects Composition. Everything you've selected will be automatically sent into a new composition based on the clip's settings. Each clip will have its own layer in After Effects but will be compressed to a single layer in the Premiere timeline. To create a new linked composition, go up to File, Adobe Dynamic Link, New After Effects Composition. Choose your settings and click OK. A new linked composition will be placed in the Premiere Project window and opened in After Effects with a base duration of 30 seconds. Import an existing composition either by dragging and dropping the After Effects project into the project window, by using the media browser to search for the composition, or by using the toolbar menu. Choose the After Effects project where the composition is located and then select the specific composition you want if there is more than one in the project. Linked compositions have unique symbols and work the same way as any other item that you have on your timeline. They can be cut, trimmed, and rearranged. Effects can be applied, and their names can even be changed in the project panel if you don't like the long name that's automatically generated. The biggest downside to replacing files in Premiere with an After Effects composition is that it cannot be undone so you may want to copy and paste this section on another sequence just in case you have to make major timeline changes to that section. If you do have to redo it, then you can just put the copied section back where it was and replace it once again. Linked compositions can cause a lot of lag during playback, so you can disable layers in the sequence or make them offline to make it play more smoothly. You can also right click on the clip and select render and replace. This will bring up a window for your render and replace settings. Choose your preferred settings, set the location for the rendered file, then add any padding to the ends if you want some extra to work with. After you've got your link up and running and you're making all of your changes, be sure to go back to Premiere to check your progress often. Once you're done, you can either export directly from Premiere, send to Adobe Media Encoder, or render from After Effects and replace the linked compositions with the rendered files. If at any point you want to open an After Effects template from within Premiere, just right-click on the linked composition and select Edit Original. It will then open up the composition directly in After Effects. Linking from After Effects works the same as before, where you can go to the file menu to create a new sequence. However, you don't have the option to replace items with Premiere sequences. This new one will now be visible in both programs. To import an existing one, either drag and drop or use the file menu. Your imported sequence will only be a single layer in After Effects, so linking this way can be a great way to keep a very clean timeline and can be better for effects that cover large sections or the entirety of your sequence. However, if you need to cut certain sections for different effects, hit Shift, Control, or Command, and D to split the layer. Dynamically linking between Premiere and After Effects is the best way to save yourself tons of time when you're adding visual effects to your sequences. Once you start doing it, you won't want to stop, and you'll actually start to plan for this workflow as you're making videos. And when you're working in Premiere, there's no better way to enhance your projects than with the free Pond5 add-on for Adobe Premiere Pro. Access millions of items from the Pond5 Marketplace, add preview files directly to your sequence, edit them, then purchase and replace them with the full resolution versions with just a few clicks. So what else would you like us to cover? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, check out our YouTube channel and subscribe for more tutorials. You can also read the Pond5 blog for an in-depth companion piece, as well as other filmmaking tips and tricks. And as always, head over to Pond5.com to get the free Pond5 extension for Adobe Premiere Pro, as well as millions of video clips and other assets to use in your next project.